Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. We are in it. I hope you are subscribed to the channel. I hope you've clicked the notification bell so that you know every single time I upload. And as you can see with the title of this video, it's a little bit of a serious one. I really did want to uh, talk about this, but also talk about it from approaching it with a level of sensitivity and also a level of understanding because it is such an important topic to discuss. Now, as you can see, we're going to be talking about bullying today and we're going to be talking about the effects of bullying, why bullying happens. And I'm going to be sharing a little bit of my history and stories with regards to bullying that have really Im impacted me in my life, especially into adulthood as well. So these are things that happened when I was in high school, but um, have pretty much carried on into my adulthood really just suppressing things like confidence and things like esteem and all of that. So I'm going to get into all those stories a little bit later, but I hope you do subscribe and let's get into the video. Before we talk about uh, bullying and the effects of bullying and me sharing my stories, I really would like us to have a proper understanding of what the term bullying is. Because a lot of the time, bullying can be misconstrued with things like teasing or making fun of, when in actual fact it is, it's a loaded word because it is a very loaded subject and it is also very, very impactful on so many people's lives. So teasing, nah. There's no way teasing can be impactful in such a way that it would uh, have psychological, physical, even verbal, emotional effects, whereas bullying does. So before I get into it, I'm going to read to you the definition of bullying and we'll get into the rest of the video. The meaning of bullying basically in the English term is abuse and mistreatment of someone vulnerable by someone stronger and more powerful, the actions and behavior of a bully. So <sighs> the reason why I chose to do this video is because a couple of months ago, there was a case um, in South Africa of a young girl who committed suicide at the hands of bullying. And her name was Lufuno. And I feel like if you're South African, you will be very, very familiar with the story because it created outrage in throughout the whole country, throughout the whole country. I feel like Lufuno's case um, trended online for a good week where people started sharing their stories of bullying. It was a really tragic case, which I do not want to get into because it made me so emotional. I wanted to do a video on bullying in that week and then I just felt like I wasn't ready because it stirred up so many emotions within me. However, if you do want to check it out, please research it, please Google it and you will see the case of uh, Lufuno who committed uh, suicide at the hands of her bullies and being bullied. As it explains in the English dictionary, bullying is essentially being um, aggressively treated by someone who is a lot of the time often stronger and often um, more powerful than the other person. So a lot of the time when we look at bullying, we associate bullying with uh, being in school, being children, being um, high schoolers and that kind of thing. Whereas I feel that bullying does actually continue well into adulthood. It just might not be uh, coated in the bullying form. However, it does happen with adults, with parents and their children, aunts and their children, blah, blah, blah. But it happens with somebody who's often older and wants to exert aggressive behavior on somebody who is younger. Or it also happens with somebody who is in a more powerful position, who wants to um, exert aggressive behavior on somebody who is in a smaller position. So, for me, bullying has always been a very contentious issue with me based on my history with bullying and how I struggled through high school because of being bullied. If you follow this channel or you follow my sister's channel or you went all the way back to Beauty Corner SA days, you will know because I did do a video. I don't know if it's still up, but I did do a video of my case of bullying and what happened when I was in high school when I got bullied but I'll talk about it again today. A lot of the cases with children at school, you'll find that it'll be an older, a lot of the time, an older or um, senior student or scholar being bullying, being a bully on a younger uh, student a lot of the time. And 
sometimes it isn't really even warranted a lot of the time it isn't even warranted these kids just go off on uh, a, a kid who seems a lot more weaker who seems like they won't be able to handle it and they want to exert their force and power over their child yet <clears throat> yes i'm sorry <laughs> we can say that in the case of the bully, it can be also psychological in the sense of what they see at home, what's been going on at home, and they bring it to school and they try and exert that power over uh, someone who may seem weaker and less um, available to be able to handle that kind of behavior or retaliate in a form that might shake up the bully, as we say. It has so many psychological effects when you look at how children a lot of the time get impacted by it. In school, it becomes very, very apparent because a lot of the time you will withdraw, um, they get alienated from their sco scholars and they feel a certain way in that they are afraid a lot of the time. And it shows in their work, it shows in um, how they respond to others, not only at school, but how they respond to others at home as well. It becomes a complete total shutdown of who you actually are because you're trying to preserve or protect yourself by not saying anything because you feel like that will be a better solution as opposed to just being yourself. And this was really, really difficult for me to even talk about because it is painful to see that it is still happening. It's not a phenomenon. It's not, I don't even want to classify it as a phenomenon. It's a reality. It is something that happens and it happens a lot in schools, but I feel like it also happens within the household. I feel like older siblings can bully younger siblings or even vice versa. It just depends on who holds the power to exert this aggressive behavior on the younger or the more weaker uh, individual. So bullying can exist for me, I believe in very different forms. It can exist, exist as physical bullying where somebody is literally physically being abused, pushed around, uh, beaten up, all that kind of things. And also on the verbal sense, in the sense that they've been teased, but not like just, oh my God, you have a booger, ha ha ha. Not that kind of teasing. It's like the really, really serious kind of teasing where they make fun of you or your family or your family members or anything like that. But things that really, really get down well within um, your core space that really damage um you as a person and it also can be uh psychological as well where they will say things or also actively exclude you in certain situations or certain uh, scenarios or actually make rumors and say lies and perpetuate those lies so that um people sense a perceived notion of you that isn't what it really is and it gets to a point where it gets so bad that it becomes traumatizing. It, it, it inflicts an incredible emotion. I can't even talk. It inflicts an incredible amount of emotional trauma onto the individual who is being bullied by the bullier, if that's a term. But it comes in many different forms and many different ways. And a lot of the time, it's unfortunate because a lot of the time we are starting to see it project itself more in the physical form where kids are actually actively beating each other up or beating the other one up because they, that's the way in which they want to exert their power. And I feel like you can't really even distinguish between all of them and say that this one is worse than the other. Uh, because when something is psychological as well, it sits in your mind, it sits in your memory, you think about it, it impacts who you are, and it changes how you feel, how you view the world, and how you view yourself, and also, in turn, over a long period of time, in the long term, it actually decreases your sense of confidence, and it decreases your sense of self-esteem, and all of that, um, <clears throat> which eventually impacts how you integrate yourself into society it impacts how you integrate yourself with other people it impacts all your interpersonal relationships so it's not only just saying that oh no we're gonna beat her up and blah 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 i can't even 
show you clips and footages because I feel like it is so disturbing and it is so triggering and it will be so um, damaging to people who have experienced this, even those who haven't. It's so, it's just so disparaging that I would share that kind of content on my channel because I feel like it will do more harm than good. So I don't want to do that. I actively don't want to do that. But the cases have become over the years worse and worse and worse and worse. Uh, bullying happened when I was in high school. A lot of the bullying that happened with me happened when I was in high school where um, there was a time when I was, I think it was grade 11 or, 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 or grade 10, started somewhere around that time, where there was a student in our class and he was, he embodied all of the bully qualities and how bullying comes and what shapes, variations and forms that it comes. He was psychological, he was emotional, the only thing he didn't do was the physical abuse. He was mostly projecting psychological and verbal bullying and when I was in school around that time we were part of a group of students 10 students who were known as the executives. So the executives were pretty much known as like prefects around that time and other students and other grades and we would, you know, perform our duties as executives. But we also had the platform where other students could come to us and we could liaise between students and teachers. And that was a you know, it was, a, it was a, a, a great position to hold, but at the same time, it was quite demanding because you had all the duties that you had to execute as well, but you also heard other people's stories about how they don't like this or they need to communicate with the teachers about this, and then you had to be the medium between the students and the teachers. So at times it became quite demanding and quite... Um, it was a lot of pressure. It really was a lot of pressure on myself and the nine other executives. So how my case really started, it started with uh, one of the female students in my class coming up to me and saying, and at first it was just the one who came up to me and said, you know, such and such student, a boy, would say all these really detrimental things. He would talk about the girls' vaginas and how they are smelly. And he would talk about how you'll never get a boyfriend or how you're fat and how you whatever. He would just keep going and going and grinding at each and every one of the girls. Not all of them, because there were some that he was friends with, right? So some of them didn't get the you know the wrath of his bullying tactics whereas a lot of them including myself got it a lot and we got it over and over again and even though i knew that he was doing this even with me he would say all these things i never actually had the courage to take it to the teachers and speak to the teachers about it however when the one girl came up to me and said I don't like what he's doing and I blah blah and she just started crying and she was like it's affecting my schoolwork and I don't know what to do I actually don't even want to be in the school anymore and all of that that's when I felt that I need to take it upon myself to speak to one of the teachers as an executive because now this girl is relying on me to help change the situation no matter what i can do how big or small she's hoping that i can speak to the teachers and of course i did ask her and i said um would you like me to address this with the teachers and she said yes now not only was it her two other girls came up to me who were in my class who said the same thing can you please wow sorry about that can you please uh speak to the teachers about this so i took it upon myself to do so and that was the beginning of a very, very difficult time for me at school. I went up to one of the teachers that we were, that I was closest to, that I could speak to. I went up to her and at that time she was the HOD of the high school, if I'm not mistaken. And I spoke to her and I told her what was going on. And I told her what was going on with the other girls and what they had said to me. And then she said to me that she would like to speak to these girls as well. So that it didn't seem as if I could have potentially been lying or I could have potentially been 
sucking things out of my thumb she wanted to hear it from the girls themselves and i said you know what fine no problem which is what happened after that was when things took a turn for the worst because they didn't know no one else knew except myself the girls that are involved and the teacher that was involved what was actually going on so after that um a meeting was held with my class and at that point i think there was maybe about less than 20 of us in the class they called everybody into the class and um they told us that listen we need to talk about this and this uh there's a case of bullying that's been happening and all of this and all of this and we need to talk about it i remember i don't remember the finer details but i remember i was asked to leave the room because and i don't know how in hindsight, thinking about it, I don't think that was the best idea because then it kind of exposed me as the one who brought this information to the teachers. But I was asked to leave the room because the teachers wanted to speak to the rest of the students. So I left the room for a while and uh, the conversation was had. And as soon as that meeting was over, as soon as that meeting was over, it was over for me because everybody walked out i started getting the stairs i started getting i mean the girls that had come up to me i remember one of them had tears in her eyes and she came up to me and she said thank you for telling the teachers and all of that and um i believe what was asked in the room was you know who if the um, the students could come to the teachers in private and tell them confirm or deny if this is happening and say which student is it was so some students did go and then of course the ones that were friends with this young man didn't so some of them were friends with me and some of them were the girls in the class the very same girls that were bullied as well but they chose to protect the bully as opposed to protecting the ones who have who had been bullied so uh oh i laugh about it now i because i just it's it's kind of crazy to me because um i'm older now and i can handle it better but it was really really tough at the time so everybody went out started getting stares started getting people talking about me started getting really alienated um sadly even by the very same girls who came to me asking for the help they kind of went off on their own and whatever and i remember there were many lunches where i was um spending a lot of time by myself i sat alone at lunch i ate my lunch alone i i just spent a lot of time by myself i was ostracized quite a lot in the class um the bully kept on saying things you know when when somebody would say snide remarks and mention snide things and say really mean things um, under their breath if I was walking past or make a comment about my bum or make a comment about my vagina and how my vagina smelly and all of that all those kinds of things and of course for me it ended up affecting my work and my grades started slipping I went home and I told my family about it after some time when this was going on for some time I went home and I told my mother about it and um, and I begged 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 my mom to remove me from the school and she said i can't remove you from the school at this point i mean you're going to be in matric the very next year i feel like it's late to remove you from the school now i mean you there's a community here already and all of that let me speak to your teachers and i kept on saying no 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 it's gonna make it worse and it got worse when um one of the students in the class who was again another bully and he was a bully on the psychological and the verbal level where you know how at schools we all have lockers and things like that where we put our textbooks and our bags and all of that we had that and I remember I started getting notes in my locker and I started getting notes about how I am vermin and I'm a snake and I'm a snitch and snitches get stitches and all of that but it was worse it was the way i'm saying it now is literally giving you a high level account 
of what happened. It was incredible, 10 times worse. This person who would slide the notes into my locker, I knew because of his writing, it was a guy. I knew because of his writing, who it was because his writing was quite flowery and everybody knew his writing and I can't talk I feel like I'm seizing up with each and every sentence that I keep going further into this I feel like I keep seizing up let me drink some water he would just call me each and every other name out of the book calling me a snitch calling me vermin calling me a snake calling me all those things and the letters kept on coming and coming and I would put them away. I wouldn't tell my parents about it. I wouldn't tell anyone. I said nothing. My mom would keep saying, what's going on? Should I go to the school? No, it's fine. No, it's fine. I kept on saying, no, it's fine. But I was living a nightmare at school. No one would talk to me. No one would play with me. Okay, who plays in high school? Like no one would just hang out, hang out with me around break times. I would always be alone. And I drew the line when I started getting notes about my uncle. You know, sometimes my uncle would pick me up from school and he would pick me up from school using my mother's car. This would be on days where we'd have like activities like netball or sports, that kind of stuff. And he would pick me up using my mom's car. And this very same person who was writing the horrible notes to me would slide in more notes at this point and it would say things like, how my uncle and stop lying and saying that that's your uncle who picks you up it's probably your boyfriend who's probably sleeping with you and your mother at the same time and your mother's boyfriend all this it was just i feel like um the moments where i'd be sad about it have gone away but i just feel anger about it now I feel anger every single time that I have to think of, but I think about it or I talk about it. I feel anger. That's why when Lufuno's case happened and I saw it on the news, I'd been seeing bullying cases. I mean, South Africa and bullying cases, what do you even mean? It, it happens all the time. Teachers, I mean, bullies stabbing each other at school, kids doing this, kids being bullied for this, kill, kids killing themselves because of bullies and whatever. It happens all the time. But something struck a chord with Lufuno's case with me that I just couldn't not do this video. I couldn't. I had to do this video. And um, so when those letters started coming in about my mother and how my mother is, it said a lot. It said a lot of really, 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 really difficult things. Um, at some point, you know, I was called a prostitute and all of that. I just... <laughs> just a lot and I felt like it's time now to show my mom and I showed my mom these couple of letters I think it was like four of them or something of which some of them I had thrown out because it would be just like a little strip and it would be slid into my locker and I would see it and I would throw it out the big ones the long letters I would I gave to my mom and my mom eventually um, went to the school and at this point was when action was starting to be taken um and the other girls started coming forward and they spoke about who the bully was and and all of that and then the bully was suspended from the school but this one who was bullying me wasn't really suspended from the school but he was called in and he was asked to apologize and all of that but i feel like by that time the damage had been done he had said all he wanted and needed to say that had caused so much just, just inevitable damage and irreparable damage that it didn't really matter. At, at this point, that's when, you know, when they found out, when the other classmates found out what was being said to me after I had stood up for other members of the class, when they found out what I was going through, some of them came and they're like, oh my God, we're so sorry. We didn't know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but y'all didn't, y'all didn't. So, <laughs> shut up. Because y'all didn't do anything. You know what I mean? When, when I tried to stand up for someone in our class. So because of that, I, it, it affected, there's so many long-term effects that bullying has on children 
on even grown-ups and adults. And for me personally, based on my experience, it affected my confidence and it affected my self-esteem and I completely withdrew. And even till today, I can say that I'm confident and you can see what you see when you watch me and you watch my channel and uh, what, have a look at my Instagram pages and my social pages and you would think, that, oh my God, she projects so much confidence and she, she feels like she's got it together and whatever. There are moments where I am not confident. There are moments where I am afraid to speak up because I feel it comes from that time where I equate speaking up to a possibility of being brought down. So I feel like if I speak up in a meeting or whatever, like, trust you me, I do speak up sometimes when I feel like I really need to. But sometimes I feel like when I need to talk about ideas or share ideas or opinions and whatever, I feel like I am going to, they're going to be shut down. And, and I am afraid to speak up. My confidence gets such a big knock. My self-esteem gets such a big knock that I am afraid. And because I'm afraid, I just don't do it. And I feel like it stems from that time. There are moments when I am, my self-esteem is shot and the psychological effects of what happened then still walk with me till today. And it, it's, it's hard for me to integrate with people. At this age, I still don't want to be friends with a large group of people. I actually avoid that. I'm quite comfortable with being friends with two, three, five good friends, five good friends, and comfortable saying that everybody else's acquaintances because I just don't want to open myself up like that anymore and I feel like it's one of the biggest reasons why I became introverted as well because I felt like opening up got me in that position and I just don't want to do it anymore so opening up generally for me even with friends relationships blah 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 with parents with all of that is hard for me because I just can't do it because I remember where I come from and what happened when I did open up, when I tried to stand up for somebody and I just can't do it. Time. When somebody starts getting aggressive with me, you don't have to scream or shout, but when you get aggressive and you start talking really fast and da -da 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 -da, I completely shut down and I feel like it's because of that and how I carried it all the way throughout my life. Look, it got better, it got better. I went to counseling for these things and I go to therapy for these things and all of that. It gets better, but I still, there are part, parts of me that are just not ready to um, open all the way up. And it is because of something like that. So the long-term effects of bullying are terrible because a lot of the time they are psychological. And the short-term effects of bullying are also terrible because then someone can decide to take their life because of bullying. They just don't recognize who they are anymore. They just don't want to be part of the world of the living anymore. And if you follow Lufuno's story, you'll know that she wrote a letter to her bully. And that was probably the most heartbreaking thing I have ever read in a bullying case in my whole entire life. I'm not even going to talk about it because it's going to make me upset. So I feel like follow that story if you want to, but it was one of the most heartbreaking things because she was a good student and she was great at school and all of that. And she took her life because of a bully. So the short term effects of that are there because somebody can decide to take their own life, you know, or change up their life or whatever. And short-term effects of physical bully, bullying, it's there. Like they beat, they can beat kids up to a pulp. That sensories and all of these other things that just might never come back the same way. They might never recover and heal the same way again. They might just never be a version of themselves that they once knew ever again. It doesn't only happen physically, interpersonally, it also happens online. 
there is a really difficult documentary that I watched on Netflix. It's called Audrey and it's two girls, Audrey and someone or someone and Audrey, Cindy and Audrey. I don't know what it's called. It's a very difficult documentary to watch because it is about bullying and it is about what a tragic situation that happened to a young girl at a party got spun so out of control that they were talking about her online on Facebook, on MySpace, on all of that, that she took her life. And it shows you the damage and the extent that bullying can do and how far it can get. Um, and we can also talk about, this video is going to be too long, so you'll let me know if you want me to do a video where we talk about being bullied as an adult, because that happens from grown-ups from parents, from uncles, from aunts, employers, seniors to juniors, or even vice versa, it happens. Bullying happens even amongst adults. And if, it's this, if this is something that you would like me to talk about, I can do a bullying part two when I talk about adults. I just wanted to talk and just spew this out. This video doesn't have any order for me, and that, that, that is going to drive me insane when I have to edit this video. It doesn't have any order. It's not coming in a direct order where I talk. I just talked. And I feel like if you are somebody who's been bullied before or, or you are being bullied, please speak up. Because so many people die with this. It just it shrivels them up to be lesser human beings than they can be. They, they don't reach their full potential because of this. So many people die because of this. I really feel like if you are going through this and you're watching me and you're watching me looking at you right now, talk to someone about it, please. Because you, we cannot lose children or even adults at the hands of a bully at the hands of somebody who just has nothing better to do with their time except let make life make someone else's life a living hell you see i can't even talk about it it upsets me so much <sighs> if you want to talk to me about it hit me up send me a dm send me an email i'm always there to listen and i'm also going to add some numbers in which you can call if you are struggling with this please talk to someone about it i don't have much to say about this anymore because it's really upsetting to me so if you are being bullied i'm sorry and you do not have to be going through this it doesn't matter what must be done or said or whatever stand up and speak to someone about it even though you can't stand up for yourself with the bully that's fine but speak to someone about it because things can be done. Things can be done with things like this. And if somebody needs to be arrested, then they should be. That's all I'm saying. I can't even say I hope you guys enjoyed this video because how do you enjoy a video like this, right? Um, yeah. I'll see you in the next video.